Good morning, St. Thomas More. It's good time! And these are your announcements. On Wednesday of this week, it was April 1st. April 1st is lovingly known as April Fool's Day. And you know who played the biggest joke of all? The biggest leader of Ontario, Mr. Ford. Ford announced, and it's just so comical, that schools are closed for another... Pardon? What? That's not a joke? That's real? Schools are closed? <laughs> Please tell me that's not true. Okay, well, let's refresh, STM. If schools are closed for at least another month, then that means phase two is kicking in. Phase two of our education from a distance will commence on Monday following this weekend, April 6th. Most of you are familiar with this, most of you have already been logging into your LMS sites, finding your semester two teachers and classes and communicating. For those of you who have not yet done so, it's time to put that big student hat back on because ladies and gentlemen, school is back in session. Your teachers have been working diligently to put curriculum together that they can administer through the LMS site. You are responsible come Monday to be a fully fledged student back in action. Log into your LMS sites through your My Class. If you have done anything online with respect to even selecting courses, then you'll know how to log in and find the LMS sites that are specific to the courses that you were studying before March break. I need you to understand that assessments are going to take place, that marks are going to be produced. They may not be coming out as timely as they would be had we returned to school, but the government and your fearless leader also expects marks to be produced. Again, I can't stress it enough that you have a responsibility now as a student. With that said, if you are one of our students that is having a problem accessing technology in order to be a productive student, there is a survey that is put out on the school board website and on our own that allows for you to fill out and request assistance in allocating any type of device that we may be able to produce for you so that you can be a student doing this distance learning. Sound good? Every single one of us under the roof of St. Thomas More, under the roof of Canada. And when I think of the term all in this together, I am brought to be reminded of a movie a long time ago that Zac Efron danced in. We are attaching the link. I want you to go to this link. I... I wish for you to watch the video. I wish for you to dance to the video. And I challenge you to put a little TikTok together. Steal a couple moves from that, that video and show us what you got. Because ladies and gentlemen, we are all in this together. Do not forget for one moment that you are all loved. Do not forget for one moment that God is smiling upon us as we try and get through this together holding one another's hands.